I know things are really heavy right now, and it's so easy to feel overwhelmed by everything. But choosing to stay hopeful is a powerful thing. It's like opening the door for God to step in and help carry your burdens. It's not about pretending everything is perfect, but trusting that God is at work, even when we don't see it. In Philippians 4, 8, we're reminded to focus on whatever is true, noble, and praiseworthy, because when we shift our mindset like that, we make room for peace. It's easy to fall into a negative mindset, but that often just makes the weight even heavier. When we dwell in negativity, it can be like giving the enemy a foothold, letting darkness take over what God wants to heal. 1 Peter 5-7 tells us to cast all our anxiety on Him because He cares for us. You don't have to carry this alone. Sometimes it helps to ask, is the problem the situation itself, or is it how I'm seeing it? Shifting that perspective can change everything. Romans 8.28 reminds us that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. Even in this, God's hand is at work. Trust that He's with you through it all, and He's not going to let you go. I get it. When negativity takes over, it's like everything starts to spiral. We lose our joy, and that deep peace we crave slips away. It can feel like we're stumbling in the dark, trying to figure things out, but never really seeing the way forward. That's what happens when negativity clouds our view. It blocks us from hearing God clearly. Isaiah 26.3 says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. If we focus on God and trust Him, that peace becomes real even in the chaos. But you have a choice. You don't have to stay in that negative space. Even if you grew up in an environment where negativity was the norm, you can break that cycle. God's grace is bigger than our past. He's not asking for perfection, just a shift, a willingness to start seeing things through a lens of faith. Romans 12, too, reminds us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. That's the key, letting God reshape the way we think. And here's the beautiful part. God is already listening to your prayers. He's ready to answer them, but sometimes our attitude can get in the way. He's asking you to trust Him, to step into an attitude of faith. Hebrews 11, 6 tells us that without faith, it's impossible to please God. Faith isn't just for big, miraculous moments. It's for the day-to-day, -day, the little decisions to choose hope, to speak life over your situation. When you do, you'll start to notice that God is at work in ways you didn't see before. So, talk to yourself. Remind yourself that negativity is not worth the energy. It doesn't add anything good to your life. Why spend time on something that only drags you down? Start focusing on what's good, and I promise you'll start to see more of it. Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7 says to pray about everything and give thanks, and the peace of God will guard your heart and mind. There's so much good waiting for you, even now. It's important to remember that while we cannot always control the challenges that come our way, we have the power to shape our response. Think of three things you are thankful for today. It might be the warmth of the sun, the kindness of a friend, or even a peaceful moment. Allow yourself to fully appreciate these blessings. Focusing on what is good in your life helps to shift your mindset and brings a sense of calm. 
Let go of any thoughts about the past or worries about the future. Instead, anchor yourself in the here and now. Notice the sensations around you and the rhythm of your breath. Embrace this present moment as a place of peace and calm. Now let's take a moment to say a little prayer to ask God for guidance. Heavenly Father, in this moment of quiet, I come before you seeking your peace. My heart is heavy with anxiety, and my mind is tangled in worries that seem beyond my control. Lord, I ask for your comforting presence to wash over me, bringing serenity to my troubled soul. Grant me the courage to release my fears into your care. Help me to trust in your divine wisdom and guidance. Remind me that while I cannot control every outcome, I can find strength in your unending love and support. Lord, fill me with a sense of calm. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind. May your tranquility soothe my thoughts and steady my emotions, helping me to focus on the present moment and find solace in your grace. Help me to let go of past regrets and future anxieties. Teach me to embrace each moment with trust and gratitude, knowing that you are with me through every challenge. Strengthen my faith in your promises and in the goodness that you bring to my life. Surround me with your light, dispelling the shadows of fear and doubt. Replace my anxiety with hope and reassurance and grant me the wisdom to see your hand guiding me through each trial. I place my trust in you, knowing that your love is greater than any fear. Thank you for your unwavering presence and for the peace that you provide. In your holy name, I pray, amen. Thank you for sharing this moment of tranquility. May you carry this sense of calm and resilience into the rest of your day.